Peace, love, and light tribe. What's going on? It's your girl Crystal, the raw spiritual guru, coming through with another pick a card. So, first and foremost, welcome. If you're returning, thank you for returning to all. Thank you for your time and your energy. You could be anywhere, but you're here with me today. So, thank you. So, first, I want to just say, watch out for any scammers, guys. Like, if you follow any of my social medias, um, I will never solicitate readings in my comment section. Um, I do give you guys the options if you do want a personal read and to reach out to me, to me through email. And Roots of Life 123 is my only email. So I have that in my description box. My only cash app is Crystal Dior 09. So um, if you follow my Instagram, um, it's um i have a couple different instagrams but my personal instagram is solely personal but i have someone going around soliciting readings right so just be cautious because i'm not going to just pinpoint and just straight up ask you guys to send me your cash app or anything like that all my readings is done through email services only so if you want to read and go through my email all right so with that being said this is more of a spooky one we are going to do what is lurking in the shadows, right? We have three piles. Pile number one, the triple bell. Pile number two, the evil eye. And pile number three, the labradorite bracelet, the stone of magic, okay? So you can choose which pile you want to choose. Pause the video. Um, <clears throat> we're going to get started with pile number one, the triple bell. So the number three is very important when it comes to spirituality. So, what is lurking in the shadow? You have self, the abundance card. Okay. Um, so, first and foremost, before we get into your message, make sure you like, share, and subscribe and join the tribe. And um, check out my metaphysical shop where you can find any of your handmade copper and crystal jewels and your spiritual tools. I also sell crystals now as well. So, come check me out. All right, so your message, what's lurking in the shadows? I'm definitely getting that it's going to be some type of abundance, cornucopia, fruitopia. Like a lot of great things is coming for you. I'm showing more so like of a bird spirit. You have a spirit animal, which could be a bird. It could definitely be a penguin. So you might want to look into the penguins. But um, <clears throat> it's like um look for like rare penguins or penguins that deals with heat like hot weather because when we think about the penguin we usually think about winter right but we see the sun which is the south so um the spirit animal that i'm getting for you guys could be a penguin or a bird spirit but definitely showing that you guys might need to work within the element of fire as well so i'm getting the element of fire and then the bird spirit for you so what's lurking in the shadows for you is abundance is success if you feel like you might have been going through a hard time or going through trials and tribulations or just things was just getting tough for you understand that that is going to be a period of lack that's no longer that's no longer going to be accessible to you pretty soon that spirit is trying to bring more into your life. You um I'm also getting a self versus self right here with the two penguins, a self versus self type of energy. So I'm also getting that you could be even leaving people behind, leaving the group behind and trying to figure out who it is that you are. And when you get to this self versus self stage, if you're not already there, I'm showing that that's when abundance is going to start flowing into your world. I'm heavily feeling the sun energy. So you could either be a fire sign or you could be born in the summer months or you could live in the south or you could live in a hotter climate place or it could be from a hotter climate place or you just really need to embrace the sun's energy, okay? Fire energy, the sun energy, okay? Go out into mother nature when it's sunny out. Give thanks for the sun and see how you can utilize that energy in your everyday life but i'm definitely getting like your spiritual guides is trying to tell you that you might be going through some type of transition but that's going to bring abundance into your world let's see why this energy is lurking you have accomplishment so there we go again with this abundance 
and the trophy. Climb into the top to reach your, your highest good. We have not yet set in stone, mutable moon. You could also be a mutable sign or yet you could have a mutable moon. Um, so a mutable sign as your moon sign. I believe mutable is Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces, and um, Virgo. And then you have third chakra of Archangel Shanuel. So he is the manifestation chakra, solar plex, attracting what it is that you want. So all of this right here is basically saying what's currently lurking in the shadows or what's trying to come. Because that's what lurking in the shadows really mean. What's trying to come out and get your attention or is going to tell you that, hey, I'm here. Success, abundance, accomplishments, manifestations, achievements. Whatever it is that you're trying to attract in your world is going to be coming full circle for you. I feel as though like you might go, you might have been going through hurdles. A lot of you that shows this pile because it's like you have to climb a mountain. You got a lot of ways that's just going crazy and you don't even know what's going to happen. You had to leave a group of people behind you in order for you to find you and face your higher self. You are basically tapping into your energetic body, your solar plex to basically bring in what it is that you're trying to achieve and you're trying to bring in into this world, right? I'm getting that you are going to be very successful. You might have went through a, a hard road to get to where you want to be, but it's coming. And even though things are not yet set in stone, do not allow that to deter you or to make you be hesitant as to what it is you're trying to achieve, okay? Understand that because it's not yet set in stone, anything can still happen. You still have the power. You still have the key in order for you to manipulate the energy for your greatest good, for the abundance to come your way, for the accomplishments to be achieved, okay? So although it's just telling you that it could be an either or type of energy, you are the one to choose which way you want to go. Are you going to be optimistic and continue to think positive? Or are you going to be pessimistic and think that it can never happen for you? Because ultimately it's saying that with self versus self, you have the power. So your shadow side is probably trying to get your attention as well to let you know that, hey, it's time for us to take back control of us in order for us to be fulfilled with these accomplishments and abundance that's due to come to us. That was just straight, straight, straight shooter, no chaser, okay? All right, pile number one. So that was your message. I hope it resonated. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and join the tribe. Until next time, peace. All right, so pile number two. For those that chose the evil eye, this is going to be your pile. So what is lurking in the shadow? First and foremost, before we get started, pile number two, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and join the tribe, okay? And not only that, please make sure you check out your girl metaphysical shop where I sell handmade copper and crystal jewels and spiritual tools. And I got crystals now as well at the shop, so take, take a look. The website is below. All right, so you got Cave Retreat. It's crazy because I was about to say darkness and that's the reason why you could have been attracted to the evil eye and it's not necessarily darkness in a scary sense because we automatically relate darkness to being bad right but with cave and retreat being here and um <clears throat> i have a song you know um i used to do poetry and rapping and stuff and it was the beginning of the, of the song was saying darkness slowly creeping but live in the light so you could be someone that could always try to overcome darkness and obstacles and to be in your highest energy, your greatest good, because I'm just keep hearing that line over and over, darkness slowly creeping, but live in the light. So what's lurking in the shadows for you is basically um, another self versus self. You are basically trying to overcome the darkness within, but Spirit is saying that you might need to embrace this darkness. And it's not on, like I said, the negative aspect, but more so to...
basically be by yourself in your own energy. You could be someone that don't like to be by yourself or like to be alone. You could be someone that always like to be around people to have to have like a group of people around you, whether it's family or friends or even people that you don't really care for just to not be alone. Maybe you could be the type that overthink a lot. You get lost in your mind and you feel like it's dangerous for you to be alone at times as well. But Spirit is saying that you need to... um you need to figure out how can you enjoy your energy self versus self you need to be true with yourself as well with the rainbow being here some of you guys could be um in the rainbow community as well or you could be fighting that as well um or you could try to you could be trying to figure that out as well if that is something that you want to do or where you want to go but then I also see the rainbow as the chakras as well. So you could also be trying to figure out how you could put your chakras in line and balance the chakras, right? You might feel like you're out of whack and that could also be another message for you to basically retreat and try to get back together with just self, right? But what's lurking in the shadows is darkness. But darkness in the sense of you trying to be more comfortable within yourself for you to see who it is that you truly are, for you to really retreat and to identify if you really even know yourself or how can you get to that place, right? All right. Let's see why you have achievement. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. And then you have door to spirit. So you could be a cancer or have cancer in your chart. Don't necessarily have to be. Um, so why this darkness might be creeping is because, like I said, spirit is trying to get you to be more in tune with yourself as well as spirit, okay? You see, both of them is leading lead to some type of doorway opening pathway pathway like everything right here for you pile number two is leading to a path some type of pathway right so at the end of the day what's lurking is basically spirit and darkness and it's more so to lead you on the right track on the right path you might need to really take some time within to figure out where it is that you truly want to go. But you might need to get more in tune with your spirit because spirit is opening the door with for you to get more in touch with them. Whether it's your ancestors or your religion or your spiritual tribe, your spiritual life, whatever the case may be. But spirit is trying to open the doorway for you to get more in tune. And solitude is going to help you figure that out. You could be someone that is chasing success as well, or you may have just achieved a lot of different things. And now you're coming to the end of the road of your latest um, goal and you're trying to figure out what else to do. But even with this light coming out here, light right here, and even though this is a dark shadow with the chakras beaming around it, it's still light. Your path is having light. Your path is led by light. So, also getting that even with this achievement coming through, you are you're you are guided by spirit right now to retreat and to live in the light to figure out what it is that you want to do and um, go for your highest good. Like every path leads to a light at the end of the tunnel. So don't feel down and out. Some of you guys also could be worried about your family or you could have like um, either um, toxic energies towards family members. Excuse me, I can't talk. Toxic energies towards family members or you guys could also be having like um, maybe you're not talking to some family members as well or you guys are just very over... Um, over concerned with your family like you you love your family you want to make sure everybody's safe and they're good 
right so they're just letting you know as well like you could be overworked because you're trying to either make it either gain a family and you're trying to get to that goal or you're trying to make sure your family is good and you're trying to get to that goal but spirit saying to relax and understand and trust yourself and trust your intuition like you have worked so much you have done so much be grateful and stand still at where it is that you are at and look at where you're at now and where you were a year ago and compare and contrast and if you feel as though that you have advanced and you have elevated and grown you are already steps ahead of others okay so it's important for you to celebrate you where you are now you are on a path i am strongly getting that and they are leading you on a path and spirit is trying to open you up to see this path <clears throat> That you really do need to retreat and take this time to reflect and to rest. You might really need to rest as well. Not only retreat, but to rest. I'm just getting a very high go-getter energy. Like, I'm on the go, I'm on the go, I'm on the go, I'm on the go. Spirit is saying that, relax. Relax. It's time for you to relax. So, what's lurking in the shadow is darkness, but more so in a sense for you to find yourself, your peace, and spirit. All right, so I hope that resonated pile number two. If you liked it, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and join the tribe. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. <clears throat> pile number three. For those that chose the labrador right. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> I had like a often spell earlier <coughs> mm. all right if you chose this labradorite crystal bracelet this is going to be your pile this is the stone of magic amongst other things so what is currently lurking in the shadows for you buried in the earth trans tra transference your ancestors spirits <laughs> okay so pile number three you got spirits, but I'm more so getting like your spiritual tribe. If you look, it's all different types of um, spirits. <clears throat> this also could be lost souls. Some of you guys could be heavy into like, um, you could be mediums and see spirits for some of you. Um, or this could definitely be your spiritual tribe or your ancestors that's currently lurking in the shadow for you, buried in the earth. Definitely people that is already deceased that's lurking in the shadows for you um but i'm not getting more so of a, a negative energy when it comes to them i'm more so getting like a helpful like a guidance if anything for the people that is currently um lurking in the shadows so you could have a few with the mediums you could be fighting your medium shit like you could see spirits but you ignore them or um yeah, basically, you could see spirits, but you ignore them or you try to like uh, put them off or you don't want want that gift. Um, some of you guys could be psychics as well. You might start hearing things, things start falling apart. So it's like it could be freaking you out and you could say, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Like <clears throat> you will always ask the spirits to leave you alone. Shoe fly don't bother me. Like, please, you know, but I'm definitely getting some of you guys it might be an ex of some kind too that may have passed away sorry if that might be triggering for you but um what's lurking in the shadows i'm getting spirits so why are these lurking in the shadows so you have growth <clears throat> communication is key new moon and gemini and you got cornucopia um all right, so some of you guys, it also could be a family member. It could be a sister, an aunt, a woman figure that's a family member also that could be lurking in the shadows. Possibly someone that you may have gave a rose to. Um, a twin, excuse me, <coughs> that might be lurking in the shadow. Um, you could be a Gemini. You could have heavy Gemini in your chart or your moon sign could be a Gemini. Um, not necessarily. I'm just giving out information that's coming to me, my God loves. All right, but also the people that's currently lurking in the shadows, because for some of you, it might 
really just be a tribe that's lurking in the shadows that's really just on your path to help you grow to help you bring in more fulfillment and enlightenment in your life to help you grow within communication to speak up to no longer be like shy and timid but to be more bold and straightforward to speak up to basically bring in abundance and overflow of blessings into your world like i said these are more like your family tribe members or or angels that came to this world to help assist you on your path um like i'm not getting any bad energies i'm getting more so it's like your tribe here to help you grow in all areas maybe you could be going through rough patches or even you could just be struggling at the moment with your image with um more so with self-image you know how you being perceived and things like that so I'm getting that you could definitely feel as though that you might be having a tough time with that. And these spirits are here to assist you, um, <clears throat> especially when it comes to communication. Like you could be someone that that's probably why I started coughing in this pile. Like and I, I had I'm trying to get myself together still. Like you could be someone that struggled with your communication, your communication style, how you talk when you need to speak up um how can you speak with tech more so or how can you stand up for yourself you know you could be someone um that have trouble with your communication your throat chakra um but also spirit is saying that with cornucopia being here they are here to help you get to your ultimate fulfillment you they're trying to make sure you be fruitful and abundance pour into your life effortlessly that you're going to have um a lot of opportunities that's going to come into your world as well um go to nature as well because you've got the nature here here and here in different forms so you might want to go out in nature as well to get more information maybe sit under the tree to meditate or sit under a tree and just be quiet with no music or anything and just see if you hear anything if you get any messages <clears throat> but i'm definitely getting that um, what's lurking in the shadows for you is your spiritual tribe, your spiritual family, whether they might be bloodline or non-bloodline. I'm definitely showing that it's, um, it's more than one. Okay, so you're not crazy. If you are going through your psychic or your spiritual awakening, it might be a lot for you. But you can always pray and you can ask them not right now if you really are seeing spirits too. Okay. But ultimately, this is your read in pile number three. So I hope that resonated. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe and join the tribe. Until next time, sending you love and light. Peace.